Hi, I'm Michael O'Keefe. I'm uh, with the New York Daily News Sports Department. I just returned from State College, Pennsylvania. I've been covering uh, the sex scandal that forced uh, Penn State football coach Joe Paterno out of his job this week. Um, I think that the big concern, uh, at least going into the weekend, is tomorrow's game with Nebraska. Uh, safety issues are going to be a real concern. Uh, uh, the assistant coach, the quarterback's coach, who uh, reportedly, according to the grand jury report, uh, witnessed a boy being raped in a shower by Jerry Sandusky. Uh, he will not be attending the game. His name is Mike McQueary. Uh, McQueary um, has been the subject. He's received a number of death threats and, and and threats and so uh, obviously the authorities there are concerned about him. I think there's probably a lot of concern in State College right now about the students. They uh, acted, uh, in my opinion, very inappropriately uh, on uh, Wednesday night when uh, Paterno was fired uh, uh, riding in the streets. They overturned a uh, television van. Um, that was an interesting aspect of this that uh, the rest of the country is really kind of uh, revolted by the uh, allegations against, uh, not only against Sandusky, but also uh, Paterno and other university officials who failed to act once they learned about these allegations. In, in State College, people are blaming the media. Um, they're blaming the messenger for the message. Uh, and that was, uh, I think, really disturbing. Um, it's almost like there's a bubble, a cocoon around that, that community that people are having a really hard time um, accepting the fact that Paterno uh, could have done something uh, and, and, and clearly didn't act. I mean, and by his own admission, um, didn't do enough to stop you know, maybe future attacks on other boys. It's a bad situation for Penn State, and I just don't see how uh, the, you know, it, it's going to get any better for the near term.